and welcome to Christmas at FBC Whitehall. We are so glad that you've joined us this evening for this unusual but exciting time that we're able to join together. This has been a crazy year, so we all need the opportunity to be able to focus upon Jesus and the celebration of this time, the hope and the peace that he can bring each and every one of us. So I hope that you'll take this opportunity to sing along with us, to be able to join us in your home or wherever you're watching us this evening. Even though we're separated in our location, we are united in our hearts. So I encourage you to join us, to sing along, to worship together as we celebrate Christmas at FBC Whitehall. Let's begin tonight with a word of prayer. Father, we come before you tonight and we thank you for this privilege that we have to come together and to worship you. Lord, it's a wonderful thing that even though we are separated and joining together in our hearts, watching together, we know that your presence is with us wherever we are. Lord, I pray tonight over all those that are going to be singing and playing and playing a part in bringing this to each and every one of us at home. Father, I pray tonight that we will, no matter what we face in our day, be able to focus upon you tonight. Lord, this is the time that we can celebrate Jesus and the gift that he has given us in salvation. So as we join our hearts together, Lord, bless this time and draw us close to you as we celebrate Christmas together. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them.
Well, uh, next in our program uh, this evening, uh, we have our preschool choir here at uh, First Baptist Church. And these, these kids are a blessing. They're going to kind of dress up uh, and participate in the manger scene, as you can tell here. And I tell you, you're just in for a blessing uh, this evening as uh, you watch uh, these kids. They're under the direction of my wife, Meredith Bailey, and also Diane Merritt. And we appreciate all their parents the extra time uh, for them to participate in this. They're going to do several familiar carols you'll recognize tonight, and they're going to play a little bit of the bells at the end. So uh, I pray you enjoy uh, this group tonight as much as I have. Here's our preschool choir.
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in their fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there with the angel was a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
next in the program tonight, uh, we have our student praise band. Uh, this is a very special group to our church. They actually uh, lead worship every Wednesday evening uh, for Crosswalk, a uh, very dedicated group. Uh, they love to sing. They love to worship. And uh, we're excited to have them uh, leading us in Christmas praise this evening. And the song uh, they're going to be singing is called King of Kings. A very, very powerful song uh, that praises the Lord uh, this evening. And uh, just a powerful message in this song. So I, I pray that you'll uh, just pay very close attention this evening to the text of this song. It kind of sums up the gospel uh, all the way from the birth to the resurrection. So uh, very proud of these uh, students and uh, they're going to lead us in worship now. Here it is called King of Kings.
heard the bells on Christmas Day. Their old familiar carols play. And mild and sweet their songs repeat. A peace on earth, good will to men. And the bells are ringing like a choir they're singing in my heart. Verse 15 says, When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them 
about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Tonight I have a question for you as you're watching the, the live stream here. You know, when you see God or you hear from God, what is your response? As we just heard here in Luke 2, we saw what the shepherds did. They returned glorifying and praising God for what they had seen and everything they had heard because it was just as they had been told. See, that's the way God works. You know, I've seen uh, God work this year as much or more than I ever have. And you may ask, well, why, why, how can you say that in the year 2020? And that's a great question. You see, I've seen some Christians that are yearning for God more than they ever have before in their life. See, 2020 has been hard on all of us. But for some, it's been exceptionally hard. Like a kind of hard that you can't allow your heart and your mind to think about. And maybe you're in that spot tonight as you're watching this video. Maybe you're in that spot. It, it, you have a hard, a hard year that you just don't want to even think about. Well, Mike Harper said it uh, last night, and I agree that the church should be a hospital for those that are hurting. And I pray that our church is. I'd like to think it is. So if you're watching this video tonight and you're hurting, you're in the right spot. God is at work. We've been praying for you individually. You may be sitting at home tonight and you're just not at peace with God. There may not be any peace in your life. We've been singing about peace all night. But you may not have that peace that we're talking about. You need a hope and a peace that can only come from God. So here's the question. Have you ever asked Jesus Christ to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior? If you haven't, you can do that right now. I mean right now. If you haven't, there's three things you have to do. Number one, you've got to admit to God that you're a sinner. Number two, you've got to believe that Jesus died on a cross and was raised from the tomb in three days. And then number three, you've got to confess your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you can do that right now, right where you are in your home tonight. You can pray that prayer. You may say, I don't really understand. That's okay. You can uh, send a message on Facebook to us. Call us. Call the church office. Get in touch with us somehow. And uh, we'll drop what we're doing so you can accept the Lord into your life. It'll be the greatest decision you've ever made. God can bring peace in your life. So as we look back on a tough year, I'm reminded of what John 16, says. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You see, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I've overcome the world. Our next song is Fear Not. I guarantee you everybody in this room that's here recording tonight and everyone that's watching this video at some point this year has been a little fearful. Well, I'm going to remind you of several passages of scriptures very quickly of what the Bible says about fear not. It says, see, Mary was greatly troubled at his words, but the angel said to her, fear not, Mary. For you have found favor with God. Another verse. And the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph and said, Joseph, fear not to take Mary home as your wife. Another one. Fear not, for unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. Another one. Fear not, they will call him Emmanuel. Which means God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. He's with us in this crazy world. Another one, fear not, 
for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will uphold you. Mm. Man, that's hope, church. It's hope. Last one, fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord best we know how in this earthly form of our body tonight we we've been trying to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ but the Lord says fear not he says fear not he told Mary and Joseph to fear not because they did so as we sing this song I pray it will remind us that nothing is impossible with God absolutely nothing I promise you God's word is real it says that so in just a moment we're going to sing this song but for now you pray with me Heavenly Father God we're thankful so many times that we're reminded in your word to fear not God to put our faith and trust in you God that you are who you say you are that you are in control of all things so I pray with everyone God that's uh, within the sound of my voice God watching this video tonight uh, God that they would find peace they would find peace that can only come from you, God. I pray this in the name of my Savior, my Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.
We would like to thank you so much for joining us tonight uh, to help celebrate Christmas here at FBC. And I know things are, are quite different this year and we didn't join together uh, in this room, but I, I just pray you'll understand and remember that our unity is in Jesus Christ. And I also pray tonight that the message has been very clear and that the message and hope of Jesus Christ has bought, brought you a lot of peace in your life this Christmas season. And uh, before we do our last couple of songs tonight, I would like to thank everyone uh, that was involved in um, putting all of this together uh, this year. So many folks work behind the scenes in countless hours. And during our last instrumental song, you'll see a very complete list of, of all those people. So once again, we thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we appreciate you joining us and taking the time and uh, watching this uh, Christmas at FBC here in your home. And on behalf of everyone here at First Baptist Church Whitehall, we would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas.